I know this movie's called MIDI Merge and Wait for Note, and we'll get to that. But I did want to show you how to save a patch that you've created that you like. So let's say I made this fretless bass and I added this double bass, and I like this. I might want to use it again sometime. So I go up to the preset menu and I say Save Settings As. It will jump to the Expand folder. Here's the path for it. So it's in your Documents, Pro Tools, Plugin Settings. It knows where to put this patch. I would call this My Cool Electric Bass or whatever and save it in here. I would probably create my own new folder to hold my sounds that I want to use over time rather than put them in the factory settings for Pro Tools. That's how you save a patch that you like. Let's go back to the edit window. Let's close this instance of expand. MIDI merge. Let me just show you kind of how this works. If I go to bar 11 here and I have a one bar count off and I just want to play a phrase starting at 11. Let me try and do that better. So I'm just going to light this up and delete that. So I'll just play the downbeats. Okay. And so now I have, if I start there. Okay. And again, I want to trim this up because I don't want anything in those extra bars. All right. If I don't click this button for MIDI merge and I go in here to bar 11, it will just erase. Erase what I've already done. Let me undo that and keep those nice long notes. I'm going to do MIDI merge, and that means keep what's there and add what I play now. Okay, so it's a little sloppy, but you get the idea. These notes are actually on top of the other note, that'll work. Okay, let's try it on 11. Quantize deal that we did before, 16th notes would probably be good. Is this, yeah, that's a fast enough tempo that 16th notes will work. So you get the idea there. So that's MIDI Merge. That's how to keep part of what you've already recorded and then add something on top of it. So let's go back to the edit window. And one more cool feature to show you here. Let's get rid of those. Leave MIDI Merge on and click Wait for Note. There is a preference in MIDI to use F11 key for Wait for Note. So if you do a lot of MIDI, and you do a lot of this wait for note process, then this may be a good keystroke for you. Wait for note is, I'll go ahead and hit record, not F11, but regular old F12 to record. And it's just gonna sit here and mark time until I'm ready. And then I, then I start the transport with the actual MIDI key. So that's really handy for when you're trying to suss yourself up or psych yourself up to play this part and you're not sure exactly what you're gonna play yet. You don't want the transport moving until you do MIDI wait for note.